there's a Lowe's delivery driver. Well, now ex Lowe's delivery driver. He delivers a package, he gets kidnapped. I mean, he gets held hostage. He starts recording. Lowe's ends up firing him for recording the criminal situation that's happening against him. Let me show you the first video. Here it is. Yeah, so I definitely have to leave. No, I got kidnapped not. today. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I plumber, definitely have to leave. The plumber is on his way. You wait. No? I'm sorry, but. Because first of all, window of opportunity for delivery is eight to five. It's gotcha. not even eight o'clock yet. Okay. Yeah. So you're waiting for that 15 minutes that you were here early. I got, be, okay, no. listen, I have 15 deliveries today, 220 miles. You'll just have to call those and reschedule with I them. I am not. There's nothing I can do about it. You are staying. I'm not in charge here. Unload, I have, I have the superiors. Appliances. I have superiors I have to listen unload to. Unload the appliances. Okay. Because you're going to leave those anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I can unload them and leave them here. And you're going to be stacking them. Yes. Okay. I can see, yeah, I can stack them real quick. So we'll take and get it all, you know, get it all put up and we'll get it in that room. The plumber is on his way. He's got to cut two little pipes, cap them, and he'll be out. Here's another video. Yeah, I understand your concern here and whatnot, and you want this done, but that's you not, guys can't give me a okay, window of well, time. Listen, no, this You're is You're early. Thing. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not okay. calling and rescheduling. I've been, I've been I have very, had to take time been, off from work. Okay, I have been I working that. with the store I understand multiple that. times. I understand that. You are not going. Okay, I, that is. I understand that, but you cannot tell me that I'm not leaving your house. My boss informed me to leave your house, so that's just what I have to do. It's Get nothing personal. It's Get nothing personal. I don't have to have him on the phone. You're not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to leave your house. No. Okay, and at this point, you've already put me in a threatened situation where I don't feel comfortable. I so, work for the police department, Okay, honey. that's fine, honey. You can't lock me in your house. You guys so are early. Okay. It is not even Thank time you. yet for you Thank to take you. and be here. You need to step out of my way. No. Okay, I'm telling you I'm going to call the police. Call 911. Okay, so if you don't move, I'm going to force my way out of your home. Call 911. Okay. A respectful young gent, let's put up his picture. Now, this Karen was committing a crime. What Lowe's did to him by firing him was unethical and immoral in my opinion. Uh, his name is Corey. Let me give you some background to this situation and an update to the story. According to the driver, he was fired for not taking the video down. You hear me? He was fired for not taking the video down. Uh, in the subsequent video revealing he was fired, he recorded himself speaking with his manager who expressed concern. The woman uh, could sue him, but more importantly, Lowe's for having uploaded the video to TikTok with her personal information visible on the loading dock ticket. Okay, uh, while the manager tried to make it seem like she understood why he recorded, even saying she wants her drivers uh, to record incidents like this, she wanted the video given to her and not uploaded online. Okay, the possibility of this woman actually being employed by the police department was another real concern here. Let me take you to Illinois law. This this is where it happened. It is unlawful for any person to knowingly make a video rec a record or transmit live video of another person in that other person's residence without that person's consent when the recording or transmission is made outside that person's resident by use of an audio or video device that records or transmits from a remote location. Now, I did some research on this. That law does not apply when you're in the middle of a criminal situation and you are recording to create a record for the crime that is being committed. It does not apply when you are in a position like he is or he was, all right? It also states section 10-4, forcible detention. A person commits the offense of Forcible detention when he holds an individual hostage without lawful authority for the purpose of obtaining performance by a third person of demands made by the person holding the hostage. No word on her being arrested. So in another follow up video, he reveals after being fired, Lowe's is threatening to sue him now. His company is now threatening to sue him over the video while also refusing to help him with the hostage situation he was in. He mentions he never signed anything concerning social media unless it was hidden away in some fine print 
We call that a boiler point provision. Um, and now he is concerned about getting an attorney and being short on funds due to him being fired, all right? Uh, he may have to start a GoFundMe account because he's expecting a child in March. You talk about a respectful young man. If he sets up a GoFundMe, I am going to contribute, okay? He was respectful, he was courteous, he was kind. This is a good young man. And for Lowe's to do this, he should be employee of the freaking month for what he endured and how he handled that situation. Shame on Lowe's for treating one of the employees this way. You should have stood by him because I guarantee you I won't be buying another damn thing from you, period. While Corey did take the video down three days ago in a video caption, would you support to sue Lowe's back in a just screw it moment? He re-uploaded the video obscuring the woman's face um, and her info. So far, Lowe's has made the effort to keep this whole affair off the radar. We are putting it on the radar and we are good at that. Jackson, thoughts here? Yeah, I think um, the pettiest thing that Lowe's did was threaten to sue him. Because yeah. it's like, what are you gonna get out of him? You, you, know, right, you exactly. know you're not gonna get anything out of him. You're a, you know, a national corporation, you make tons of money, you're in every state, you know. It, it, so th this whole thing was just ridiculous. And then on the woman's end too, it's like, what you know, no, you're 15 minutes early. So you have to stay in my house for 15 minutes. Like, what? Like, you know, that, that if you're a manager or anything, I understand, I can understand why there would be concerns of having the video online. I can see that. But just like turning it and flipping it to where it's like, well, what should he have done then? You know what I mean? Like, what should he have done? Should he have just stayed there? Because he said his boss told him to leave. Right. You know what I mean? So it just, it's, it's not fair. It's a yeah. stupid situation.